he yelled on a skinny leg. Touching down to the floor, he oh. Spends all of her time thinking, dreaming about the distant show. It's a dirty, dirty shame. That reality ain't the same, and you're confused. You're wrecked and abused. Born to rock. Yeah. It was 42 years ago that uh, KG Wind, FM 92 in Portland, and other places played that song that uh, was on the Homegrown album, the compilation of local bands, and we got airplay for years. Even Bill Prescott played it on the Closet Classics 20 years later in 20. And uh, no, 2000 and 20. <laughs> so today marks the 40 seconds, 42 years ago today, we played at the Stone, the Keystone Club in San Francisco with Culprit from Seattle. Hey, I Scott Earl. Hi, bud. And, uh, Mike Barney's band, Cinema. So I thought it'd be appropriate to uh, play the earliest video I have, which is a show from, there's a bunch of clips I'll put in here. Seattle with Slayer and Metal Church, and also Eugene. We played with Rail and Glacier. 42 years ago at the Stone, we left here in Portland, Oregon, at midnight, drove 12 hours, I drove straight on through. I yelled so loud at the trailer guy the day before because I reserved a trailer like a month ahead of time. They, we go to pick it up and they don't have it. And Dean's van, his tires were all bald and didn't do anything about it. So not only did I yell at that, I got four new tires and changed the tires by hand, and uh, I was worn out. So we drive 12 hours straight to San Francisco, and we pull up in front of the stone, we're way early, and uh, finally about three o'clock, which is loading time, we loaded our stuff in, waited around, and uh, did a sound check, and the first time I ever met Culprit, first time I'd ever heard about culprit was on U.S. Metal Volume Two, and uh, and after the gig, Scott Earl, hi Scott, he invited us to come up and play in Seattle the next weekend, or the weekend after, and we did, and that became one of our best cities ever. And so the lineup was Wild Dogs, Culprit. And no, 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 it's Cinema, Mike Barney's band with uh, Harry Carey on vocals, Pete Marino on bass, Mike Barney on guitar. He's an amazing guitar player. Then it was Wild Dogs. Then Culprit was a headliner. MTV was there to catch the action because they had done a, a bit about Mike Barney. That's how we all found out about him was uh, MTV interview with J.J. Jackson, and he said, go get a pen and write down this ad uh, address, and if you have a great guitar player in your band, this guy wants to have you on his compilation. So we did it. That's the way Culprit found him also. And uh, I wish I had that footage, but uh, I've tried, but nobody seems to have it, and uh, I, I think it was shot on film. But uh, we played the gig, and uh, that's where the term, he sleeps like a sandwich. Dean sleeps diagonal in the bed, and his feet don't stop moving. Dean was always my bed partner in the hotels. <laughs> Not that way. And he picked the bed to wash all of his symbols before the show. So the bed was soaking wet. The roadies, about seven of them, were sleeping on the floor. Nope sleeping bags, just <laughs> totally unprepared. And uh, we played the gig and came back home. We went to Seattle, played Seattle, and everybody in Seattle seemed to know all the words to our songs because they were singing along. So I pulled them up on stage 
And that became a trademark of mine. And I mean, the crowd was a, as big a part to me as the band was. And uh, there's a there's a live CD of this first show, not professionally recorded. It was recorded on a portable deck with the microphones in the deck, but you can hear what it's like. And some songs that never made it to any albums, but uh, it's called Live in San Francisco on U.S. Metal Records. It's uh, at, uh, for sale on eBay, and the link is on my website, usmetal.com. And now here we are. Dean's 60. I'm 64. When I'm 64, losing my hair. Anyway. I'll shut up and let's watch some of early wild dogs in their prime. Yeah! The evil in me!
show soon tonight.
press the button on my pants. We don't want my pants to fall down now, do we? Bad. 
best in this band. Here's the world's greatest hit song for this, Mr. Tim Fung.
It always brings good memories back to me. It wasn't long until uh, <laughs> the, uh, especially Jeff didn't like my stage antics. He was more of a club guy who they did nothing but play and stand there. Danny was a real showman. Danny Spike Kurth, who is no longer with us, and uh, I I love his bass playing, and uh, I patterned my bass playing after Danny and his tone, and because uh, he played with a pick and played hard and real metallic sounding, and uh, we want we played long view, and then uh, like the the show you had on here with Rail and Glacier who have been making a second comeback. I didn't even think they had a record out, but a, a lot of them did, like Gargoyle. And Anyway, so much for that. Uh, thanks for watching. Happy 42 years of being wild dogs. And uh, may, <laughs> may the farts be with you. <laughs>